Hello everyone, my name is Fabulous Fish. And I'm Katatui 101. And welcome back to the road to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So today we're going to Prism Tower, or uh, Paris, because I mean, let's face it, it's just the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> this is from Pokemon X and Y. I'm like 99% sure a little uh, correction thing will be on screen if I'm wrong, but I, I hope I'm right. And as always, we have today's question of the day, and that is, what are some of your favorite and least favorite moveset changes throughout the Smash games? Like in general, like specific moves that you like that they change or hate it that they change. Mm-hmm. So say we have a one-on-one -on -one between sexy and thick. Oh, this should be interesting. Battle of the attractive ones. <laughs> Battle of the... Of our yeah. brawl mains. Yeah, our brawl mains, right? <laughs> and, uh, you know sexy uses down air there? Yeah. I hate what they did to Marth down air in Smash 4. They took one of the most satisfying, fun moves to use in Melee, and they made it actually kind of balanced in Brawl, because admittedly it was all overpowered in Melee. Mm -hmm. And then for 4, there was like, mm, this is still too good. <laughs> Marth is not so bad in 4 now. However, when the game first came out, he was terrible. Through balance patches, they made him a lot better. I didn't think they needed to nerf him at all, though. It's like him and Brawl was pretty well balanced, I thought. Yeah. It's like, yeah, he was good, but he also took a lot of skill to play as effectively in Brawl. I don't like him on Smash 4. They made him feel very gimmicky. He, like most characters in Smash 4, relies on the same few tricks over and over again, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. And his down air is just not fun to use anymore, and that's such a shame. So that's why I don't like, um, when we play as Bowser and Charizard and a few other characters like Wario, I'll be sure to show you specific moves they changed that there, where I'm just like, why would you change that? Oh yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. But my absolute least favorite change to any character would be Marth Down Air from Brawl to 4. Yeah. I hate it. I hate it. They took such an <laughs> elegant, flowy move and made it just so not satisfying to use. Yeah, I can see how that would be annoying. I think one of my least favorite things that they changed was Samus's up B, like from, yeah, like from Brawl to 4. It's so easy to use, you know? I mean, they change it because tether grabs were not the greatest recoveries in the world. However, with Smash 4's different ledge mechanics, because ledges in this game work differently than Brawl, you think a tether grab would be fine as an up B. So I don't know why they changed that either. Yeah. I mean, in general, I don't like Zerasu Samus in 4 that much either. I feel like they made her way too easy to play effectively. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like... If you watch a competitive play with with Zero Suit, it's always down throw into up air into up air into up B. It's, Smash 4 is a very flowchart heavy combo game, which I don't like. Why are mm -hmm. they just standing there for a <laughs> second? <laughs> They're like, hey, uh, you gonna fight? What do we do next? <laughs> I don't think Smash 4's physics engine lends it super well to combos. I still think Melee nailed combo game pretty darn perfectly. So. Yeah. I still think Brawl with actual hit stun would be a very interesting combo game. Mm-hmm. Smash 4, I just feel like the combos are, they're too easy to get the same combos every time. I feel like, I don't know, it just, it just comes off as too, too samey always, too flowcharty. Yeah. And uh, hello? <laughs> what are they doing? Did neither one sure what to do next. <laughs> and I mean, have you ever played like classic or all-star and you're fighting against the AI and all you do is just up, tilt, up, tilt, up, tilt, I mean, that's just the AI in 4 being <laughs> brain dead. Yeah. The AI in 4 is horrible, let's just say. <laughs> The Amiibo AI is the only not horrible AI, and even then it has some stupid moments sometimes, like when they just stood there. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> I hope you're seeing here just like how aggressive Sexy is. Yeah, he's mad. He never stops going. Whereas uh, Thick is nowhere near as aggressive. When she gets a hit, she usually follows up pretty well. Yeah, she's pretty good, I'd say. Overall, yeah. That's why I think they're an interesting matchup between these two, because like they actually go pretty pretty seriously and pretty hard yeah. towards each other. Yeah, like they, they don't dick around. They take everything seriously. <laughs> yeah. But I think Sexy's got enough of a lead that, uh... Yeah. I think he's got this in the back. You know what I actually don't like the change about Zero Suit? Oh. I don't like her... Like, that... I'm surprised he lived through that. I'm not too crazy about her side smash in this game. Mm -hmm. And that's game. I liked her old side smash bar with the whip. Yeah. And with that, I believe that bring this episode of the Road to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate to a close. Please be sure to on this video's poll let us know what you think of this stage. As always, thank you for watching. This has been Fabulous Fish. And Katatui 101. We hope to see you in the next episode. And also, just a little disclaimer, I realize that our commentary is coming off really quick pace in these. I assure you, when we get to the Wii U version, we're actually able to play again. <laughs> we'll be able to go a lot more in-depth on our uh, praises and criticisms towards Smash 4, because I should be able to show you the specific character things. But we don't actually have any input on these matches, so. Right. <laughs> see you on the next episode. Bye.